Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today's video, we're going to cover some other things that you do not see on this table. Some more ideas. Stay tuned. Lord have mercy. Soup aisle. I think it's uh, Armageddon or something. Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles. Welcome to my channel. Now, in the previous video I did, I talked about these products and stuff that are on this table. Now, what I want to bring people aware of, uh, a few different things. One, um, we really need to pay attention to uh, the elderly people that are either in our family or maybe are our neighbors, because uh, they could be really um, uh, harmed by this bug. And if they need stuff from the store or something like that, uh, help them out and maybe go over and see if, you know, you can go try to pick up stuff for them, uh, even if it's maybe their medicine, uh, something along that lines. Maybe you have enough supplies where you can share a little bit with them, or if you cook a meal, take them over a meal. Um, another thing I want to cover on uh, is uh, your emergency backpack that I've talked about in several of my different videos. Um, you always want to make sure you have this emergency backpack ready to go, just in case for some odd reason, uh, you are evacuated. Um, also remember, besides having your emergency backpack ready, make sure that you have your first aid kit also stocked and ready. Because if you are quarantined, more than likely it's gonna be very difficult for people to get to you or for you to get to somebody else. So you may wanna stock up on your first aid supplies any cold medicine, um, all that type of stuff, if it's available and you can still get it. Try going to the stores first thing in the mornings as early as possible. You can load your car up with food supplies and stuff, but if you have an emergency pack that's already ready with a lot of uh, basic supplies and needs, um, that may just makes your life a lot easier. So having your emergency backpack all set up and ready to go is another plus. Um, I also want to talk about what people, instead of, if you can't get canned goods, canned vegetables of any kind, um, a great thing that you can do, and a lot of people out there that homestead can, if, if you can can them, great. If you don't have that option of canning, um, something to remember that you can do is you can buy fresh vegetables, you can blanch them in hot water, and then put them in an ice bath to stop the cooking and cut them up and put them into freezer bags. And this way here, you can put them in your freezer and they will store for quite a while and you have fresh vegetables whenever, you know, the time comes that you may need those. <clears throat> and it's something that if you do purchase, uh, you will be able to use for, you know, 30, 30 days or so, you know, it depends on what kind of bags you use. If you have a vacuum sealer, uh, I would say they would last quite a long time. Uh, but that was just a great idea that um, actually my wife had brought up to my attention um, and I wanted to get that out there. So if you can't go out and you can't get canned goods and things like that, see if you can buy some uh, freezer bags at the least and pick up some fresh vegetables and stuff because you can get green beans, uh, you can get corn, you can get all different types of, of vegetables and you can just blanch them, peppers, you know, anything. You just blanch it for just a minute and then put it into an ice bath and then you can take and bag it up from there and put it into your freezer and to make sure that you have fresh vegetables for your family. Um, on top of all these products that I already did cover in, in a previous video, um, you just want to make sure that you're being safe out there and uh, uh, just remember to have patience. But I just wanted to bring these few quick tips to you. And uh, my name is Charles. Uh, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Uh, Till next time, we'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>